like all the videos on Saigon Cat's channel are made possible by fans like you. Totally. And we're back, we're back, we're back. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dragon Quest 7 live streamed Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. <clears throat> and it looks like, it looks like there's a fragment to be found in this volcano. So let's keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> and preferably, not leave without it. Hey, yep, you're a bit late, aren't you? Did you get lost or something? No. No? Then I suppose you must be right slow walkers. Everyone else is lined up already. At last, it took an age and a day, but the return of fire ritual is finally getting started. It's the only day of the year when anyone's free to come up Burnwand. Locals, tourists, anyone at all. Just make sure you don't fall over and put that fire out, eh? You won't be able to get it lit again up here. Why am I at the back of the queue? Is it simply because I'm not local? Why, that's nothing but flagrant discrimination. How rude! Do we have to wait? Do we not wait? Can we just run around, everybody? Nobody's yelling at me for cutting. I guess let's go. Kona. I'm first in the queue, and I'm not giving up me place for no one, so there. Kona. Sorry. Hey up everyone, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm happy to say that the return of fire ritual is about to start. Grand, I'm first. Me, me. Now then, there's no rush. I suppose this the purpose of this ritual is to show our respect to the father of the flame. It's not a race. There'll be no playing favorites, so you've no need to worry about losing your play. Well, if this isn't our honored guests, in you come, you lot. Oi, I thought you just said I wouldn't lose me place. You can't let these Johnny-come-latelys in before me. Oh, don't be such a spoil sport. We've visitors from Lord knows how far away, and here you are fussing about being first. Oof. Come on, you lot. Now then, as you've probably guessed, this here's Burnmont's Crater. All you need to do to play your part in the ritual is to take them flames you're carrying and chuck them into the crater, like so. See, what we're doing is returning the fire that's been protecting us all year to the father of the flame who gives it to us in the first place. Now then, are you ready to throw your flames into the crater and return them to their creator? Oh, give over, there's people waiting. I, I guess we're doing this, guys. There's something a bit odd about throwing flames into a volcano, but here goes nothing. I don't even want to think about what would happen if you fell in there. I'm just going to throw this thing and take a step back, okay? Right, now it's the villagers' turn. You lot are all done. You can head back to the village if you like. Or, or, we can not die a fiery lava-filled death. Eek! You gave me the fright of my life. What are you thinking, sneaking up on me like that? What if I'd fallen in? I can't believe Pommel asked me to keep watch in such a dangerous spot in the first place, to be honest. Mustn't grumble, not when she's standing right in front of me. Any road. Uh, 
Yo, Orbo! Yeah, I'll be on for another hour. You lot took your time. The ritual's already started. Right, there's no time to waste. You lot need to get yourselves down into the belly of Burnmont, quick as you can. There's something strange going on down there, no doubt about it. I need you to look into it for me. I can't go myself. It's crawling with monsters, see? Come back here if you get into trouble, though. I've got medicines that'll heal all that ails you, and I can do it half do a half decent impression of a priest if need be. Eh? Time's running out. You've got to get moving. <laughs> and running the wrong way. Shit, why? Bubble slime. Ooh, wait, 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 Maribel. You hold off. Really, guys? We're not going to focus down the bubble slime before he poisons us? Can't trust the AI. Yes, Perry is playing League. Excellent deductive reasoning. No, you jerk. There we go. Didn't matter in the end. Not sure which way we were supposed to go. I don't know if it matters, honestly. Orbo is bothering us earlier. The idea that he's flame slashing with a wooden hammer is just odd. <laughs> Kiefer does what he wants. Kiefer's a prince. Nobody tells Kiefer what to do. Oh man, Okagi, the Shadow King. What an old game that was. Screw you, Bubble Slime, we're not fighting you. I don't want to get put... And we ran into one anyways. I need to heal. 
heal up for this. Kiefer? Kiefer, goddammit. Don't. Thank you, Marvel. Hi, Perry, sweetie. What's up, love? You lost? I'm sorry. I don't think you're a loser. Did you just hear a door slam upstairs? It's the nature of League. You can play very well and your teammate can teammates can do terribly and you can still lose. I think I went the wrong way. Of course they got split into two groups. Of course they did. This does look fancy. Would you like to play it? We have two copies. <laughs> Ah, Maribel, don't die, please. Please don't die. She's getting lasered. There we go. Is the original DQ7 like this? The original? No, the original has had quite a few changes. To it. Actually, sweetie, here. You can uh, look at what the original one looked like. Totally, totally getting distracted from playing it right now, but whatever. It's Perry's fault. Here's what the original looked like. <laughs> I didn't want this. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is this more fun than the original? Yes, I would say so. The original required a lot of grinding, and uh, they've done a really good job of removing that in this one. The, this has so far been uh, fairly easy to get into. Would you like to play for a while? In fact, I really wasn't taking any kind of significant damage and having to heal in dungeons until I got to this place. Hot in here. I think I'm actually melting. Complain more, Maribel. I don't think we all heard you. No! 
They're going to complete the ritual. Ooh, it's on this floor. For those of you who uh, haven't seen this yet, there's the mini-map. <clears throat> that flashing pendant in the top left tells you how close you are to uh, one of the fragments of the slabs. And uh, when it's flashing brightly like that, it means that it's on the same floor that you're on. And I stepped in the bubble slime. Ew. Maribel, actually, I think this is a time to cast Bang. I'm trusting you to do it. Atta girl. Now go back to not using magic. <laughs> we need you to save yourself, Maribel. For whatever big threats are at the end of this dungeon. Really? I thought I'd attack the one in back. No, she should be fine. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. Yeah, Bushels, it had a pretty easy start, but I'm definitely taking a lot more damage in here now. Originally, I was thinking it was silly of me to buy all those medicinal herbs after how easy the other dungeons were, and now I'm really glad that I did. I don't think I even have any antidote herbs, so I'm, these bubble slimes are making me really nervous. And of course, nobody else in the party cares. Bushels, I've almost had that happen twice now. I can totally see that happening. Hey, we got the jump on the Shabby Cats. And they're all in a group, too. Maribel, go to town with your whip. Right here. This is probably it. Am I gonna get Dragon Quest 8 when it comes out? Of course. My favorite Dragon Quest? with new backgrounds on, uh, and cutscenes for the hero and Duel Magus, of course. Well, Mellow Yellow, the thing about JRPGs is their difficulty tends to be directly related to how much grinding you've done. In the first Dragon Quest, for instance, it's pretty challenging to go after the Dragon Lord at level 18 or 19, but it's possible. But if you wait until, like, you know, your mid-20s, then it's pretty easy. It just really depends on how strong your characters are. Good Lord. Maribel, 
I have some news for you. You are going to be casting Frizz. Oh yeah, and having Red and Mori as party members, that's gonna be fantastic. I don't know who they're gonna replace, though. Like, I could probably say goodbye to Angelo, but he's a good healer. Which leaves Jessica and Yangus, who I adore both of. I don't know who I want to remove from the party to play with Red and Mori. Get rid of eight? No. Just have a team consisting of uh, Red, Mori, Yangus, and Jessica. The four best characters in the game. <laughs> Poor Angelo. No love for Angelo. Love you, sweetie. Are you going to do another league game? Thank you, Kiefer. I don't dislike Angela, I just don't think he's near as good a character as Jessica or Yangus. Well guys, I, I tried to get Perry to play Dragon Quest VII. You were all here for it. I did, I suggested several times. I said I have another copy of it if you'd like to play. I totally did. Is this it? Whoa, I didn't mean to jump in. Was I supposed to jump in? The game's continuing. I didn't get a you died screen a la Dark Souls. Oh no, I guess that worked. We are supposed to be down here. Let's keep jumping down. Sweet. That's nice. I like that. I don't remember if that was in there in the, in the original. It's been too long for me to really say. Was it there? Okay. Hey, little guy. Normally I would avoid you, but I haven't fought you yet, and I don't know if there's any kind of completion rate. Some quillers up here. Look at those! Those are adorable! Aww. They weren't on my screen near long enough. Those things were cute as hell.
Oh, that's right, it's this big Moai guy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> soon it will all be over. Ah, humans, how foolish must they be to worship a deity that does not exist. They even hold festivals in his honor. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, soon the humans will present me with the last of their fiery tributes, and when that happens, the power of the black flame that has entrusted to me shall be unleashed. Its awakening will cause the flames to pour forth and molten magma to engulf all the lands beneath, and the humans believing that their pitiful father of the flame has forsaken them shall sink into ruin and despair. <laughs> Speaking of humans... Do you puny specimens mean to stop me? Fools! To attempt to do so is to plunge willingly into a nightmare of incandescent flame. But if you insist, I shall gladly oblige. You shall be burned to cinders, flesh, bones, soul, and all. Yeah, that boss music, the glowering inferno. Maribel, fight wisely. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Offensive spells, none. Defensive, heal, other, just buff still. Definitely want to throw one on Maribel, because her defense just sucks. His head is glorious. It's gloriously incandescent. Praise the sun. Praise the glorious, incandescent, glowing, glowering head. We're gonna do two buffs on Maribel. Because I don't trust this guy to behave. Uh oh. He's psyching up a bit. I thought that went to Kiefer. Actually, hang on. He's getting ready to do a big attack. Kiefer, I think we're going to set you guys to follow orders so we can defend during this. This, does, this attack does do quite a bit of damage. And that helped. That took some of the sting out of it. No, not snooze! Damn it! <laughs> the secret's out. Saigon is secretly an AI. I think he actually did less damage to this with the, uh... No, 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 I wasn't paying attention. Wait, no, she didn't cast Sap. Damn it, I'm not paying attention. I need to focus. I need to focus. Sap, not snooze.
Good round of damage. Good round of damage. Yeah, we got him. I knew it. He's a DQ AI from the future that came to indoctrinate us into the, in the way to play their games. <laughs> Shh. It's getting edited out. <laughs> the glowering inferno is defeated. Blue fragment get. Kyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
If I were to guess, I'd say the spirits are trying to tell us that whatever's in that bottle can put out the black flames here. And if we're to find that liquid, we'll need to find the man who's got it. Have you any idea who he might be, Saigon? I have a guess. Thought you would, right then. You'd best be off to see him and grab that bottle for us. There's no point us going. It'll be much quicker if you do it, you know the way, and you know the man in question. Pomela's right. I know you've done an awful lot for us already, but can you help us out this one last time? <clears throat> I get the feeling the ball of flame he's here is not going to do anything for the time being. I don't understand her use of out. <laughs> But I'd still get me skates on if I were you. Good luck, lad. You've got to help us, you lot. You've got to do something about the big ball of black flames. I'm trying. Move out of the way. Holy crap, the dog made a horrible fart. What an awful creature. Awful, awful creature. Excuse me, everybody. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Swordsman76 is now following. Thank you so much, Swordsman. No, Ashes Tower of Nyx has been here, dude. Oh, I can go get the dress now. Thank you, Cruz. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's that's the acceptable kind of backseat gaming. Are you, are you sure? Oh no, he is still here. Hey, buddy! So we can get the leather dress, and we'll have enough for a scale shield for Kiefer as well. I went to go to sell. God damn it. Buttons are so hard, guys. Why have you brought us here, Saigon? This isn't where we need to be. I just brought you a pretty new dress, Maribel. So shut up. She and Aris have a very healthy relationship, can you tell? <laughs> Go away, Meowgician. I love you. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> there are much better games. <laughs> you you guys are spot on. Yeah, that would be a league. <laughs> Oh, 
Although I think currently I'm winning for the amount of rage in the house from uh, Dark Souls 2 the other night. Like, I went to bed early <laughs> after that. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't form, like, coherent thoughts anymore. There was only rage. <laughs> I have learned Zoom. Also appropriate backseat gaming. <laughs> no, what? There was no rage during Pokemon with Pat. There was a little bit of salt. But there wasn't like cursing and throwing things. Were you not there for Dark Souls Ashes? I think this is his house. Bangerman, just got your copy. Awesome. Enjoy. You must have missed you must have missed my uh, temper tantrum at the end of that Dark Souls 2 stream. <laughs> well, look who it is. My favorite nephew's come to pay his old uncle a visit. There's something I wanted to ask you actually. <clears throat> Tell me what I want to know and um oh yeah, I'll give you this bottle of whole Holy, holy water. Deal? Sure. Alright, ready? Here goes. Is it true that Pollock and Major Maid have gone to the castle to discuss this new island? Yes. I knew it. There's money to be made here. You mark my words. I don't need this smelly old bilge. I mean, this amazing, deeply sacred water anymore. Here, it's yours. We have received the holy, holy water. Yes, Bengerman, it has already started going up on YouTube. Dude, Hero, I'm like, I'm still replaying those events from Dark Souls 2, like that sheer amount of BS, I'm trying to figure out how to deal with it. That portion of the game is just garbage. Don't say your old uncle never gives you anything. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some serious thinking to do. The door's over there. I, yeah, good to see you too, uncle. Do -do. Oh, wait. I have Zoom. <laughs> into him. He's just right there. You know, I didn't think that we were going to be done with the volcano stuff before the end of the night, and it appears I was wrong. I will be getting to go to bed at a reasonable hour. Hopefully, maybe, probably. 
No, Zoom doesn't work in the past. I already tried it. What? It wasn't working for me, Mellow Yellow. I tried using it back in Bali Malloy, and it didn't work. Eh, you did it! You got a hold of the stuff I told you about! Now then, let's not lark about empty that bottle onto... Wow, well, let's not lark about. Empty that battle on... Empty that bottle onto the ball of black flames and see what happens. Ah! Saigon sprinkles the holy holy water onto the ball of black flames. That's the stuff. Well, would you look at that? It's gone! Ah, thank Crikey for that. If you lot hadn't stuck around till the bitter end, we'd have been in a right pickle. Looks like me vision won't be coming true after all. You sure, Palmela? Aye, I can feel it in me waters. No more eruptions for us. Thank Crikey for that! Right, everyone? That's quite enough excitement for one year. I hereby declare the ritual over. Now let's get back to Emberdale and put the kettle on. This calls for a cuppa. Saigon, you and your pals saved our village. They must be British. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what, like, uh, what dialect and accent they were going for. British. <laughs> Sweetie, everyone in chat is cheering for you. We all love you. We support you. We support your decision to play League. That's why I'm making you our guests of honor tonight. You'll have the time of your lives, I promise. See you back there. Yeah, Bushels, that was something that, um, made its way into a fan game. Legacy of the Lost had that, and it was very useful. Being able to evac back to the Shrine of Mysteries whenever you're in the past. Having successfully completed the Return of Fire ritual, everyone makes their way back to Emberdale. A lavish party is held with singing, dancing, and merrymaking, and the fear that was felt on the mountain is soon forgotten. Saigon and friends have a fine old time surrounded by local well-wishers and plenty of tea and sandwiches. And by the time the festivities come to an end, the sun is already in the sky. I've tried to get her to play Heroes, J. Cruz. I just can't convince her. Morning? Eh? What a night that were. I just want to say to y'all, say ta for all your help and have a safe journey. There appears to be another fragment in town. Welcome to the village of Ember... Yeah, by gum. It's you. Sorry. I shouldn't be greeting the saviors of the village as though they were total strangers. Right? Plenty of tea. They're British. Hey up, you lot. I can't... I really can't thank you enough for saving the village. Of course, all that faffing about could have been avoided if I just listened to Palmela in the first place. Still, everything were fine and dandy in the end, thanks to you. 
Now then, I don't rightly know why that monster turned up in Burnmont, but I suspect it's because we've not been showing enough gratitude to the Father of Flame. Well, we won't be mucking, making that mistake again, let me tell you. We're going to make sure to show him we're more grateful than ever. I mean, we can't rely on off comedians like you to bail us out next time something goes awry. No, this is our village, and that's our responsibility to look after it. What I'm trying to say is, you don't need to worry about us anymore. You can carry on with your journey. Good luck to you. So Pomela's vision turned out to have some truth to it in the end, did it? My gum, I suppose that means we've died and gone to heaven then, eh? Or does it? That's the thing with visions. You see, they only show one of many possible futures. And it only takes a tiny little chain, tiny thing to change which future we end up getting. That seems like a dangerous game to play, Cruz. Oh, gosh. Yeah, clearly. Clearly in this room. Probably with Pomla. Hey, you! Hmm? Oh, it's you! Looks like you've had a good night's rest. The people of this village owe you a lot, you know. So I've been thinking we should do something to say thanks. I had a quick gaze into me crystal ball to see if we had... out that might be of any use to you. And as it happens, we do. Here. Another blue fragment. I held on to that, thinking it might come in handy when I were telling fortunes. But according to me old crystal ball, you'll get more use out of it than me. Don't be strangers now, eh? If there's ever anything old Pamela can do for you, drop by for a cuppa and a chat. Alright guys, it's time to head back home to our own time, but it's also time for me to end the stream. We're all healed up. All we need to do is save. It is time to end the stream. Thank you so much for watching. I will be on again tomorrow, probably not until the afternoon. Caden has a soccer game in the morning, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, I will see you all then, and then there should definitely be a bunch of the stream on Sunday. Good evening, everybody. Oh, uh, remember that patrons of any level... Which person playing this game are you hosting? I don't know. I'm not following anyone who plays the game. <laughs> Watch this game get rehosted like five times now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, I'm not actually uh, following anyone else who plays the game. There's not a lot of people who do a lot of dedicated Dragon Quest stuff. Um, okay, so, for those of you still here, uh, there is a patron-only patron survey going on on my Patreon. We are voting to see who Cloud's date at the Gold Saucer shall be with. Currently, Barrett is winning, Tifa's coming in close behind, Yuffie's got a couple of votes, everybody hates Eris. Eris has no votes. Hey, thank you for the follow, Ivan Helsings. So, if you are patroned to me at any level at all, there, there's the link, thank you, Crane Support. Uh, go and check that out and vote. We're going to close the voting before we start the Final Fantasy VII livestream on Sunday night. Um, because certain characters, like Barrett in particular, it's harder to get the date with them than it is others. So we kind of have to get the jump on it from the get-go. It's not just a choice that you make when you get to the Gold Saucer. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Those of you who are watching on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you got any love for Dragon Quest also, please leave a comment. See you all next time.